guys, it is Vivian and welcome back to another episode of my Road to Completion Escape series. It's going to be episode 3 out of the hopefully poor 4-part four uh, four part series, which I'm going to be showing you guys. And, you know, when I say 4-part series, I'm hoping the next um, the next episode is going to be the finale for the Road to Completion Escape, where I can always go to 5 episodes. It's really uh, dependent on how I feel over the next few days, or perhaps weeks, or however long it takes. But the main uh, the main things I need to go are Dungeoneering, well that's, that's basically the main thing. Um, it's just Dungeoneering and a couple of other uh, little things, but uh, this month, or not this month, I'm so used to doing that for the progress videos. Um, but since the last video, I've gained uh, 116 Dungeoneering, I've uh, got the Annihilator title, which is f the four killing um, well, okay, the four killing, no. you. So to get the Anni Annihilator title, you have to do the Fate of the Gods quest, and you have to have all of the hills attacking you at once, and then you've got to kill them off. Um, you, you can kill them, you don't have to kill them at exactly the same time, you have to get them all attacking you at once and then somehow kill them all. And the first couple of times I tried to do it, I was getting absolutely wrecked because I didn't know which order to kill the hills in. Uh, but then after afterwards, after doing a little bit of, um, you know, streaming, so I was streaming, I, uh, I, I actually streamed me getting the Annihilator title and a lot of people helped me out, so a massive thanks to all those people that helped me out. And um, it's basically the to get the Annihilator title, all you have to do is kill the hills in the order in which next does a faders, so or next does a phases. So it's like shadow, no smoke, shadow, blood, and then ice, and then you know you basically done that task. Another thing I also did uh, was the uh, big chin chopper as well. So the big chin chopper was very very easy to do. Um, all I had to do is it took me one go. You just have to get 1,111 uh, points in one game of big chin chopper. So all you have to do is run around. Pick up one of those flower things from, I believe, it was one of the um, one of the eastern on one of one of the corners of the room, which helps you get a few more points. But basically, all you have to do is run around, check the um, shaking bushes. The walls just catch some butterflies, and it's you know it's deadly or not butterflies. They're actually called moths, but it's the same technique as catching butterflies. But that was really really easy. Then I moved on to doing some charm sprites. Now I really wanted to do the charm sprite. Well, I didn't want to obviously. Um, I needed to do the charm sprites before Nine and a Hunter because. It was so easy to get the yak, um, enhanced Yak Twee stick. It would have helped me up so much with some hunt, uh, with some Hunter XP per hour. But you know, life's life, and I I got it afterwards. But you know, it's done now. That's all over. I've got none on Hunter. I have the enhanced Yak Twee stick, um, so I don't even have to worry about it anymore. So there's no point complaining about it. I then moved on to Lane Clarence to rest. Another little mini quest, I guess. Very very easy. You just have to run around, speak to a couple of people, return some stuff to old mate at the um, you know wizard tower and you basically done that part then I did some um, a bunch of quests and I did obviously after the, the, the new Doric quest I did the Doric and Boric mini uh, mini game mini quest thing which was an absolute pain it took a little while but then I moved on to doing a massive massive amount of quests I'm not quite sure how many quests I did but um, I've really done well in other words I guess I've compl I've completed all the quests. I have the quest cape now. I was gonna wait and show you guys the actual clip of me getting the quest cape at the end of this, but you know, spoiler alert, I got the quest cape. So a lot of people messaged me in game as well after I got the quest cape, which is absolutely fantastic. I just want to give a massive, massive shout out to everyone that obviously gave me a thanks and was there um, through all the streams and stuff. I didn't really stream that much questing because obviously it's not fun to watch. I don't want to do it, let alone um, put other people through the through the uh, you know through the pain of quests because. Um, I'm, I'm kind of depicting them as really, really bad things, but you know, they're not they're not that bad, um, but I'd rather do something else like Dungeoneering or something like that. So the quest I managed to do since the last video uh, was the Doric, oh no, Doric's quest, and I went out to do Elemental Workshop Part 4, uh, in Pioneer, the one of a kind, which is the end of the Dragon King quest, the Prisoner of the Glow Free, and then I did some novice quests like the Diamond in the Rough, the Spirits of the Elid, as well as the Ash, like the newest, one of the newest Ashdale quests, and the um, Death of Chivalry, uh, Some Like a Cold, Room, Mem uh, Room Mysteries, Room Memories, and then I managed to get my quest game. So I've done a lot of quests, um, and that's not even including all since last video. Uh, so, w the thing with novice quests, man, in this game is they're not novice quests. I nearly died in the Death of Chivalry, and I know people that have died in the novice quests. When I was doing the quest, I was like, alright, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do all the um, really, really hard quests to get the Grand Masters out of the way, go through the experience, the intermediate, and all those quests, get them all done so I can just, you know, finish nice, relaxing some novice quests. But as soon as I start the novice quest, they took about an hour or an hour and a half in each novice quest. Um, call me a rookie at this game, call me brand new, or just, you know, I don't know what was with the, with the novice quests, man. They're like, I, I nearly died on a novice quest, and I was finding bosses that were like, 
4,500 life points on a novice quest. I had to bring like my chaotic staff and my organic derma just to kill the monsters on a novice quest. It was absolutely ridiculous. Um, I found the Grandmaster quests really enjoyable. I found them really easy. Um, I didn't really pay attention to the storyline, so I can't mention much about the storyline. But I just found the novice quest so, so much more difficult than the way it used to be. The uh, novice quest in RS3 are nothing compared to, you know, the Cook's Assistant and stuff, but I digress. I then went to do some temple trekking, got all of the temple trekking done, managed to get all of the six characters to level 99, which was really, really easy. It was a lot easier than I expected. Uh, one of the main things that I would stress to you guys if you're going to do temple trekking is get the Blisterwood Staff. It helps so much. You can basically one-hit every single vampire uh, you see. It's, it's, you know, it's fantastic. Um, but temple trekking only took me like a day and a half, which is, you know, which is really, really good. I was expecting to be in temple trekking for a really, really long time. Um, but it turns out temple trekking is really, really easy. So, you know, if you're, stress if you're stressing about temple trekking, don't worry about it. You can do it probably in like eight hours or so. It's really, really easy. Um, but yeah, so they're mainly the, you know, the main achievements um, that I've done that I'm going to show you in this video. I've got a couple of um, things that I've also accomplished uh, in, the car in the last few days that I'm going to show you in the next video. But I guess that's essentially everything I want to show you guys in this Road to Completionist um, series. No, no, not series, just the episode. But uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of Road to Completionist, Kate. Right, if you did, please give it a like, or let me, let me know a like and a comment and stuff like that. Apart from that, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.